You might remember that at the launch of the HTC One M8, I wrote an article titled, I was going to switch my iPhone 5S to an HTC One M8, but... And my arguments for avoiding the change were based on the poor camera, its lack of a fingerprint scanner, and the fact that boom sound wasn't everything. Fast forward to today, give me an HTC One M8 for a month, and now my iPhone 5S is in a drawer. Since a lot of you asked me why this happened in our recent After the Buzz, let's talk about it. I'm Jaime Rivera. This is Pocket Now, and these are the reasons why I ditched the iPhone 5S for an HTC One M8. I wish I could tell you that my reasons for switching were based on hardware, but that's not the only reason. HTC and Apple signed a collaboration agreement years ago, and it's most apparent when you compare these phones. Both devices have anodized aluminum, and both devices sport machine holes and chamfered edges. Despite their screen resolutions, both devices have great displays and great color accuracy, and if you took their logos off, you could say that one is just the big brother of the other, if size were the only thing. But yes, the one M8 is massive compared to the iPhone, but the curves in the back make it feel comfortable, and if we compared specs alone, on the other hand, both devices have flagship specifications and both run their respective operating systems like champs. My biggest reason for liking the HTC One M8 is because the placement of everything makes more sense to me. I have big hands, so for me, 5 inches in a display is perfect, where the iPhone looks tiny by comparison. Surely the iPhone has a very good speaker, but that's the main problem, it's only one speaker. You simply can't compare it to the depth and quality of boom sound speakers on the One M8, and uh, when you think about the fact that these are front-firing speakers, they're actually designed to enhance your experience. I guess that phrase describes the difference between both phones best. The One M8 is designed to enhance your overall experience with a smartphone, whereas the iPhone 5S is the simplest form of a smartphone. You take your pick. One of my biggest reasons for switching is really in the software. iOS 8 and 7 are the simplest form of how a device should be operated. That level of simplicity is so basic that you find yourself fumbling between applications in a complex way to get a simple task done. What I love about HTC Sense 6 is that, again, it enhances your overall experience. A contact card is not just a contact card, but a feed of everything that you want to know about that contact. Your photo gallery is not just a feed of photos, but actually a photo gallery that intuitively gives you photos and some expressions. HTC TV is not just a remote control application, but a service that actually helps me organize the things that I want to see. Being able to launch the camera with gestures and go directly to blink feed or unlock the phone. I mean, sense is just more practical. It makes sense and it actually makes your experience with the phone much better. It's that level of thoughtfulness that I like about HTC Sense. I mean, iOS is cool, it's reliable, it's elegant and well thought out, but again, HTC Sense is just an added level of usefulness that, again, enhances your experience and makes me want to keep using it. My user experience is also a reason to keep using the HTC One M8, though these reasons are slimmer. It's the basic things, like the battery, where in the case of the One M8 I can go beyond the full day without charging, and in the case of the iPhone 5S I cannot go beyond noon without looking for a charger, and that's really annoying. This battery issue really affects your performance since even though both devices run any game you throw at them with ease, you'll be able to play more with the One M8. You'll also be able to enjoy a more comfortable experience with the bigger display on the One M8 and feel more immersed because the speakers are actually firing at you and not to the side or behind you. And to make matters even more competitive, you simply can't consume enough content without expandable storage since in the case of the iPhone, you have to pay a lot of money if you want more storage. Now, even with HTC's boom sound, phone calls are pretty much the same on both devices, whether through the earpiece or through the speaker. The difference lies really when you're using the phone to play a song through the speakers, or when you do what I do, which is watch a lot of YouTube videos. It just makes more sense to have the speakers looking at you and firing at you. And uh, interesting, this even happens through headphones, as HTC software does enhance your experience with music and video a lot more through headphones and through the speaker than what you get with the iPhone. The camera is where things get tricky. Both devices can record great video, almost equal to each other, but the only scenarios where the HTC One M8 is superior to the iPhone 5S is one, taking a photo because it can do it much faster, and number two is the added software which enhances your experience through Zoe, the dual camera effects and everything. But surely the One M8 has bigger pixels, but so does the iPhone 5S, though not as big as the One M8's. 
Uh, both take photos decently in low light, so really, here's the deal. Since I mostly use smartphones for Instagram photos, I'm okay with either cameras, though the 5 megapixel wide angle camera of the 1M8 is better. But if you want to really replace a camera with your phone, the iPhone will be your best pick all the time. And aside from the camera, other things that I do miss about the iPhone are things like accessories, where it's much easier to find things for the iPhone than the 1M8. I particularly need a phone that's waterproof for working out, and sadly, neither of these phones are, but there are cases for the iPhone, whereas it's really hard for you to find one for the 1M8. Other than that, the added heft of the 1M8 can make it much more complicated if you want to run, for example, where hey, it's not really that bad, it's just that obviously the iPhone is much lighter and makes the experience much more comfortable. I won't deny that I also miss the security of Touch ID, though again, these things have become secondary for me after the other added values that the 1M8 provides. So in conclusion, switching from the iPhone 5S to the HTC 1M8 was really a matter of taste. I prefer to get more for my money, and therefore excessive simplicity isn't always for me. Both devices are beautiful and reliable, so I would rather go for the one that gives me a more enhanced experience if they were priced accordingly, but even that is different. I paid almost $900 for a 64GB iPhone 5S compared to $650 for the 32GB 1M8 and an added $30 for 64 gigs of storage on a microSD card, so do I need to say more? The iPhone 5S is still a great phone, it is a great phone for many people, but the HTC One I made is superior for me. That's it for our video regarding the reasons why I ditched the iPhone 5S for the HTC One M8. Make sure you leave us a comment down below with your impressions as well. And also, follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you on the next video.